సో వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ గైస్ సో యా వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ గైస్ ఐమ్ అగైన్ బ్యాక్ ఆన్ కోట్ ఫోర్సెస్ సో లెట్స్ దైవ్ ఇన్ టూ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నెంబర్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ త్రీ బి అండ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ నేమ్ ఇస్ ఫెన్స్ సో దేర్ ఇస్ అ ఫెన్స్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ పాలికార్పస్ హోమ్స్ అండ్ ద ఫెన్స్ కస్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సేమ్ విత్ విచ్ గో వన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద అనదర్ ఫ్రమ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఐత్ ప్లాంక్ ఇస్ హెచ్ ఐ మీటర్స్ డిస్టింక్ ప్లాంక్స్ కెన్ హ్యావ్ డిస్టింక్ హైట్ ఓకే సో ఐస్ వీ క్యాన్ సీ దెర్ ఆర్ ఎన్ ప్లాంక్స్ అండ్ దెర్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్ డిస్టింక్ హైట్ బట్ ద విత్ ద సేమ్ సో పొలికార్పస్ హ్యాస్ వాట్ అ పాష్ పియానో అండ్ ఇస్ థింకింగ్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు గెట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ టు ద హౌస్ ఓకే సో ద పియానో ఇస్ టు బి ఎంటర్డ్ ఇన్ టు ద హౌస్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు క్యారీ అవుట్ హిస్ ప్లాన్ హీ నీడ్స్ టు టేక్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ కే కన్జిక్యూటివ్ ప్లాంక్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫెన్స్ ఓకే సో ద కే ప్లాంక్స్ హ్యావ్ టు బి టేకెన్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫెన్స్ హెయిర్ ప్లాంక్స్ ఆర్ హార్డర్ టు టేర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫెన్స్ సో పొలికార్పస్ వాంట్స్ టు ఫైండ్ సచ్ కే కన్జిక్యూటివ్ ప్లాంక్స్ దట్ ద సమ్ ఆఫ్ దియర్ హైట్ ఇస్ మినిమమ్ పాసిబుల్ ఓకే so we have to remove k consecutive planks that the sum of their height is minimum possible okay and write a program to find the index of k consecutive planks with minimum total height pay attention the fence is not around polycarpus home okay <clears throat> so input is the first line of input contains integer n and k okay n and k so the n is um the number of planks and the k is the number of consecutive planks which have to be taken out and the h is the number of heights the heights of the n planks okay now you have to print such integer j that the sum of height of the planks j j plus 1 and j plus k minus 1 is the minimum possible if there are multiple such j print any one of them okay <coughs> so no issues uh let me just copy the input so this is the input and as you can see as by seeing the input this is n this is k okay so we have seven planks and we have to remove three planks with minimum height possible now from the input as we can see let's just increase the text okay now let's just come come to the solution first our try run how do we do that now we have to remove three planks now talking about these three the sum of height is 9 now let's talk about another three sum of height is 9 now let's talk of another three the sum of height is 8 so yeah this shall be taken from uh, like comparing to the previous heights of plank now let's take this the sum of the height is 9 now let's take this the sum of height is 9 so yes we have to take this window can we just this window 611 so the height of like uh, minimum possible height is 8 so we can take out this window the index is 1 2 3 so the answer here is 3 i think you got that solution now how we are going to code that like for me i am going to take a window like this only which will calculate the sum of k consecutive planks and we will move from 1 to n and we will compare that to the minimum possible sum and we will keep an index variable i think the logic looks a bit blurry to the beginners here but no problem let i will explain taking no time taking all the input so i have created that file earlier uh, this time now take the input next int n this will take the number of planks int k the number of planks to be taken out <coughs> oh 
okay guys so now there will be an height array which will save the height of the n planks new int n now let's loop to save that height in h array now what i will do here is that i will take a variable sum to save the minimum height of plank i will take a window sum as a variable which will initialize to 0 which will save the sum of windows which will sum of planks in a window correct and now i will also save an index which will save the minimum index of the sum sorry for the display yeah so cool i think i've done this now what i will do here is that i will save the initial window sum like from 0 8 to k i have assigned the index 0 as we only know like as we only have to start from the 0th index of the array and the first uh, like first minimum possible is the only now as we have like iterated only the first window so the first index is to be saved as 0 and the sum is h of i plus sum so i have taken here the in like the sum of the first window which is uh, 1 2 and 6 and have saved that in a values in a variable sum now i will move from like the next value okay i have taken that 1 2 6 now i have to take the sum of 2 6 1 now how will i do that i have to loop from k as i have done from 0 to k minus 1 i have to loop from k starting the index from k and the k j has to go from j till n as i have also taken okay as i have taken the sum of let me just copy that again or let me just copy that and put one two six it will help me explaining more clearly okay now yeah so as i have taken that one two six in a sum variable now this is a zero eight index this is the one index this is the two index and this is a 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6. Now as I have taken that and the value of k equals to 3. As I have taken the sum of the previous 0 and 1 and 2, 2th index uh, elements. Now I will start the value, f I start the window from 3. And as I, have, uh, as I know the sum of this window, I will add that element into the window and subtract the value of this element cool so my window sum will become window sum plus h of j minus h of j minus k minus 1 correct i think yeah, that will me index sorry j minus k yeah that means three uh, th a of three plus window sum that was nine so that nine plus one makes equals to ten minus a of zero that will make again to eight so this will give me the sum of this window six two plus one that is eight six two plus six to eight plus one nine sorry so this will become 10 plus 1 minus 1 sorry 9 sorry 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 
so yeah now i will compare that if sum if window sum is less than sum on the previously calculated window and i will assign window sum equals to sum and save that index j in our variable index now let's just say what does the index come for this value for this input as it will come to be the last element of the window 4 yeah so how did i get to 4 so it prints the value of the last element of window 6114 now as we have to move to the uh, indexing starting from 1 i have to subtract 4 minus 3 okay index minus k okay 4 minus 3 is 1 and then have to plus okay 4 okay mm. just a second guys So yeah, and just a second, I am also figuring out the logic of how do we move from four to two and three. Okay, the actual four plus one, two, three, four, five. So the value is. 5 minus 3 plus 1 okay so basically we have 2 plus 2 every time correct I think that will work nothing nothing too much complex 4 minus 3 plus 2 yeah so yeah this is the solution of our problem let's just submit and see or does that work you are not allowed to request that page okay so i'm not logged in uh, okay okay let me just submit that solution i think this will not work or i will get that error okay now yeah Let's just submit running on test 1, running on test 2, running on test 3, wrong answer or fails, let's see what happens. Let's compile wrong answer on test 4, cool, let's just see what is the wrong answer. Okay, so invalid result minus 3. So the logic of indexing doesn't work, I broke that. Okay so let me just think of a solution okay yeah okay so just a second guys um just 